Hey there, if your heat press is still in its box, then pause this video and go get your press out of the box, plug it in so you can get decorating. If you're ready to get started, I am going to tell you some of the accessories that you need to consider when using your heat press. So let's start reviewing. Hey guys, Kelly Walters here, and at Stalls and Transfer Express, we use Hotronics presses. Now, the majority of accessories I'm getting ready to go over are universal and can be used with a variety of different heat presses. Now, I will talk about a couple of interchangeable platens, and just keep in mind, those are specific to Hotronics. All of the accessories we're going to talk about are going to make heat printing that much easier. They also have a complete purpose as to why you would use them and not just something you should, oh, I'm going to choose today. Some of these accessories are going to help protect your heating element itself. Some are going to help protect your garment and some are going to make it that much easier to applying a certain type of logo in a specific location that might be difficult to press or maybe you just can't keep the logo on the garment itself. So the first thing we're going to talk about are the cover sheets. This is so important when it comes to decorating and using your heat press and for a couple of different reasons. A cover sheet is going to first protect your heating element first and foremost, but depending on the cover sheet that you use, you might actually maybe be able to get a different type of finish for your overall design. This is craft paper. And when it comes to craft paper, this is something where if you're using sublimation and you get any adhesive or ink on top of this, you're going to want to throw it away or cut it apart and save certain pieces for another project. This is also going to give you a matte finish when it comes to decorating vinyl. This next piece is a reusable cover sheet or some call it Teflon, but this one is going to provide a semi-gloss finish. Both, it doesn't matter which, is still going to protect your garment and your transfer from your upper heating element. Now, if there is something that gets on this type of cover sheet, you can actually just wipe it clean using water and a cloth. Both can be reusable, however, one is a little bit easier to clean. So now let's talk about those hard to decorate items, or maybe you are working with a press that you don't have the ability to change out the platen and you're working with something that has a lot of buttons and seams. Insert pillows and pads. <laughs> These are going to be your best friend as you start to decorate bags and polos and um, even sweatshirts with pockets. Think of locations that you wouldn't normally think about decorating because there's more obstructions or seams or even embellishments. Both of these are going to serve a different purpose. However, they're going to also be similar into achieving your decoration gold. This is a heat printing pad and it's extremely dense. Think of a really, really thick mouse pad. And when you're using something like this, the garment itself or embellishment isn't going to be able to go into the pad. Instead, when you put this, say, around a pocket or a polo with buttons, you're going to be elevating the garment or the item, the surface area where your logo would be applied. So think of it this way. If you had buttons right here and you slid them off of the pad, they're now going to drop below the pad, allowing your heating element to only hit the top of this pad. They come in a variety, nice catch. They come in a variety of different sizes and they can even be trimmed and cut down to fit a specific size. Next, let's just talk about pillows. These have a very nice, um, smooth cover, kind of like a Teflon uh, cover with a pillow inside. 
Now with that being said, these can also be cleaned very easily. And if you don't have the ability to thread your garment, then these pillows make it nice and easy to insert in any type of garment or bag accessory, allowing you to decorate on a variety of space. Now the thing about the pillow is that an embellishment would absorb into the pillow, allowing your um, decoration surface or where you would be applying your logo to then sit on top. The biggest difference between the two is that this is a really thick rubber. It might be a little bit more difficult to slide in and out of whatever you're decorating, where this is going to have a nice smooth surface and be extremely easy to go from garment to garment. The difference is that this is extremely dense and if you need to make sure that those merchandising elements are nowhere near the heating element, the heat printing pad is the way to go. Keep in mind that there are some materials or transfers out there that just don't work well with pillows, making it a good reason to have both on hand. All right, tape. Who would have thought that tape would be an excellent accessory for you to have at your fingertips when it comes to decorating? This is thermo adhesive tape. And what this allows you to do is tape down your logo on your garment, your accessory, and keep it in place while you are heat applying. Because it is thermo, thermo adhesive, the tape itself is going to be okay under extreme temperatures. A lot of times you might be decorating at 300, 320 degrees, and depending on whatever transfer you're actually using, you might even go up in, into almost 400 degrees. This tape will be able to withstand that heat, and once you are done um, applying your logo, you can just simply remove that heat, that heat tape and not have any residue or remaining um, tape on said garment. So it's, it's different than the tape you would go to wrap your mom's birthday present or hang something on a wall. This is tape that you definitely need to use, especially if you're going to get adventurous in your locations and offer some really unique different type of decoration methods. All right, now let's talk about those platens that I talked about just briefly before this video started. These are interchangeable Hotronics platens. They're so easy to use. You flip the knob, I'll show you in just a second. Take one press or one platen out and then just easily put this one in the slot, locking it into place. This will help eliminate using any pillows or pads. If you prefer just one thing and you don't wanna to have to worry about accessories, consider getting a new platen if you can. Even if the press that you're using offers a variety of platen, consider getting those platens if you're not really wanting to deal with pillows and pads in anything to help really elevate your garment and your uh, transfer specifically for the heat press itself. These come in a variety of different sizes. You can get them in um, a rectangle. You can get them in squares for left chest rounds, seven inch rounds. I mean, there's so many different platens out there. I'm talking platens for shoes, underbill, um, decoration methods, koozie platens, and I cannot wait to show you the tag along platen that is my absolute favorite and just makes it so easy for aligning and doing both the front and the tag at the same time. So if you're trying to figure out what you need first, the first question is, do you have a Hotronics? If you don't have a Hotronics, run with the pillows and the pads and the cover sheets and the thermo adhesive tape. That's what you need to get started. If you have a Hotronics and you didn't order any additional platens, you can easily go online, order a couple um, as you need or just add as you have specific projects come up. So now let me show you how to quickly change out this platen and put in the tag along platen. All right, so like I said, this is a Hotronics Autoclam and I do currently have it sitting on a tabletop stand. That's what helps elevate my press, allowing me to completely thread a garment. 
And if you're not quite sure what I mean by thread, it's opening up like a pillowcase and sliding it on the platen. This allows you to really make sure that seams are off of the press versus dealing with any collars, sleeves, and um, you know, seams really. Now, of course, this uh, item is currently decorated, but I just wanted to show you for visual purposes. Now, we are only worried about our fabric that is on top versus having any lines, bumps, or um, offset shirts as they are squished together as we're laying it on top. Now, in order to change this platen, there is a little lever right here. I just flipped that so you can see. And then I just pop out the 16 by 20 platen that was currently in. From here, if I do want to go with a six by 10, now I easily have that in place and I can use this to decorate polos, bags, totes, onesies, a variety of different items. Now, like I said, I wanted to show you the tag along, so let me show you. Again, I just pop this in place and flip the lever back. And now I can thread my garment just like this, getting it nice and clean and then pulling my neckline off. And then all I have to do to tag the back is to grab that back neck and slide it on top. Now, ideally, this would be a sweatshirt or a t-shirt, but I used what was close around me just so you could see exactly what this setup looks like. So right there, we adjusted from a 16 by 20 to a six by 10 to the tag along just as easy and as it could possibly be. Now, a couple of other just really small accessories that might be great to have at the press. Believe it or not, scissors. If you need to trim down any carrier, you can always do that with a pair of scissors. I actually love having a weeding tool at the press because for somebody that is cutting their own vinyl most of the time, if there's a tiny little piece that I missed, then instead of taking it and going from you know my press to my weeding spot, I can just sit you know, simply just grab it right then and there. Plus, I don't know about you, but I always seem to have little hairs and fuzzies that I don't want trapped under the adhesive of the vinyl. This is great. Tweezers work the same as well. And um, a tape measure or ruler is always great to have, especially if you're first really trying to figure out where the center is on your garment, tag along platen, um, or just really trying to line up a specific place. I hope these help you get started. Again, if you haven't taken your press out of the box, that's the first step to success. Go get it out of the box and plug it in. You'll thank me later, I promise. But if you have already done that and these accessories helped guide you down to what you need next in your business, um, I really hope it helps you propel you forward. If you have been using accessories for years and you have one that I didn't mention, Drop it in the comments. Let other people know what has helped you out so you can help somebody else out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Make sure you like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more education. See you later.